Hi, everybody. I'm Brittany Lewis, a breaking news reporter here at Forbes. Joining me now is John Feinblatt, president of Everytown for Gun Safety. John, thank you so much for joining me. Absolutely, Brittany. Happy big to news. Here. Happy to have you. And especially on this day, there's big news for your organization. The Onion and some Sandy Hook families acquired Infowars, which was founded by conspiracy theorist Alex Jones. And every town was named as the exclusive advertiser. And just to recap, Alex Jones owes the families of the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting nearly $1.5 billion for falsely claiming that the 2012 massacre was a hoax. What's your reaction to the acquisition and every, every town's involvement? Look, some people would say that this is strange bedfellows, uh, the Onion and every town getting together. And, and we understand that some people would think about that at, for plush. But for us, it made all the sense in the world. And, and look, at our fingertips at every town, we've got research, we've got facts, we've got data, and we've got stories. But what the Onion has is a special kind of creativity that can really cut, cut through misinformation and expose this issue to new audiences. How did this partnership come together? Because to your point, I mean, it doesn't seem like these two worlds would collide because The Onion is satirical. Every Town for Gun Safety is a serious organization that advocates for gun safety and um, against gun violence. So how does this partnership work? So for many years, actually, The Onion has worked on the issue of gun safety. And in fact, they're well known for that. Uh, and so we've admired them uh, for many years. And I think they've admired us and our work. And so what we were looking for in this partnership was a way of taking all of the information that we have, whether it be data or storytelling or research, and reaching new audiences and using humor as a way to cut through the damage misinformation has done. Can you talk about The Onion and what they do every time there's a school shooting or something like that? I know the post you're talking about, but you're saying that there's a history here. Talk about that. Well, they, after every mass shooting, they actually uh, post a very effective message that, in fact, many people across the country know and listen to and, and, and really take it to heart because what they ask is this question of, the fact that we are the leading country when it comes to uh, gun violence. And they ask this question of why we aren't doing anything about it. They do it in a humorous way. Um, and uh, what we know is that sometimes when you got hatred that is laced with misinformation and fear that is laced with misinformation, that humor can actually be a way to shine a light on it and to actually expose the damage it does. And for us, this was a chance to really talk about gun safety in a new way, and most importantly, to reach new audiences. Uh, and that would include conservatives, and it would include gun owners, and it would include uh, Generation uh, Z. Uh, and that's really important to us. How do you cut through the misinformation here? What is every town's goal with this exclusive deal? What are your ads going to look like? Give us a sneak peek. Well, you know, they were still creating those things. But, uh, you know, this news, as you know, is very, very fresh. But it's going to include things like banner ads. It's going to include links uh, to every town. It will include video. And it will also uh, include uh, content that we create together. Uh, but let me tell you, what I think is really the bottom line here, and that is poetic justice. For years and years, Alex Jones has visited unspeakable harm to the Sandy Hook families and the families of the educators who lost their lives. And for the Onion and Every Town together to rewrite this new chapter of InfoWars is really poetic justice. Poetic justice feels a little like karma in a good way. So have you talked to the Sandy Hook families? What have they said about this partnership? Because they're involved too. Well, they were with The Onion actually part of uh, the deal uh, that led to The Onion owning it. So they certainly uh, were on board. The ones I've talked to really, karmic justice, your words, uh, I think describes, uh, describes it to a T.
And how is InfoWars going to be used now? Because we saw the damage of what it did to the Sandy Hook families when Alex Jones has said that this was a hoax, claimed that you know, just unspeakable things about that tragedy. What will the new InfoWars under the onion look like? Well, I think that uh, we're going to wait till January to see uh, how that unfolds. But clearly, uh, they are going to use satire and humor as they do so successfully on the uh, onion uh, and to cut through misinformation, to cut through fear. And the truth is, as I've said, the, the Alex Jones currency was fear. Uh, the gun industry's currency is fear. And their message is to make sure that everybody is armed to the teeth and that's how they line their pockets. Alex Jones has made money off of tragedy just like the gun industry does. And it's time to expose it. You want to cut through informa misinformation. You want to reach a new audience, including conservatives, including Gen Z. This is a tall task, obviously. So do you think they're going to be receptive to what you're giving? Absolutely. And we've got the best partner in the business. And what's next for this partnership? What can we expect come January? Uh, I think we're going to uh, wait till January to unfold that. Well, we are looking forward to it. John Feinblatt, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Thanks for having me.